So does everybody have uh, both the text, Lamp for the Path of Enlightenment by the Adisha and the Song of Spiritual Experience by Lama Tsongkhapa? Both. Yeah. So the, regarding the points um, which are not touched in one text, um, they are uh, clearer in the other one. Hmm? <coughs> now, hmm. Uh, I think everybody knows the basic Buddhist teaching or basic sort of idea of Buddhism is Four Noble Truth. Uh, the Four Noble Truth, as you already know, the suffering and it is causeless. Uh, then a permanent joyfulness or what? No. Actually, the sense, you see, suffering uh, creates a lot of sort of unhappiness or unpleasant. So once, so therefore, the permanent happiness is completely eliminate the sources or causes of suffering. That is the permanent sort of, what's the joyfulness. Uh, that's Third noble truth. Uh, then uh, the method or source to achieve that, the, the fourth noble truth, path. So that's the, uh, the according the Buddhist, uh, or not only Buddhist, but also uh, the, those uh, according non theistic religion cause and effect, law of causality. So that was all right. Didn't you say that? No. So um, there is this um, teaching on the, uh, how causes and conditions bring about their effects, mm. the law of causality. Things happen. Uh, uh, those are things which are something permanent, then not depend on causes. But those things which are momentarily changing, then must be causes. Uh, so these things, which momentarily changing, you see, you see, without cause, it never happened. So there must be cause. If the cause is something permanent, that also impossible. The permanent cause produce impermanent sort of result. Uh, so the, any result, um, the, I mean, causes of any result must be same nature. So since result momentarily changing, I mean changing, changeable, changeable, changeable. or changing, so cause also must be same nature. So the dukkha and kasa, kunju said kasa, rejected kasa, samudaya, samudaya, and the niroda, and mark, ka, bath, kasa, what mark, mark. 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 Uh, so this is based on the concept of uh, law of causality. Uh, then here you see uh, Buddhism, you see the uh, terminology, right? term we call patit samupat, uh, dependent and arising, patit samupat. Although Jainism and also one part of Sangya you see, the, I think the Kasota Tenji Dinjun said, it's a Kalamasochi. So, Zedi Dinjun Chazanji on to Omar Karasona, they do long job of Ta, Taka Chibushi. So, although Jainism uh, does accept uh, to a certain extent, uh, in, in, in reality, they do uh, posit the 
interdependent uh, causation or uh, some extent I think some uh, extent to some extent the, this is non uh, non theistic religion also you see essentially you see agree the law of causality or Buddhism but but you see the problem is these two non theistic religion also accept the Atma self independent absolute unchanging self so therefore, the, the Buddhism, the things, uh, phenomena which momentarily changing, also is due to, uh, I mean, it, it also, also the very nature is inter interdependence. Uh, dependent on its co own causes. Then the self uh, who create karma, and also who experience karma's result. That self also, you see, uh, momentarily changing, not permanent. Uh, so therefore, long jeje chala, long jababo, nigga chane, ta, go, den in joy into chane, and patit sumo banda sal chata. So therefore, um, what is experienced, the objects and, and, and what, who experiences um, them, both because both are dependently arisen. Well, <clears throat> so the four, teaching of Four Noble Truth uh, also uh, I mean, based on the Buddhist theory of interdependency. Uh, interdependency uh, uh, effect entirely depend on its own causes. And then that, if we think more deeper way, cause also depend on research. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? So our uh, cause is defined as that which helps to bring up an effect, and the effect or the result is that which is brought about by the cause. And therefore, if there is not, uh, nothing which is actually brought about, then they cannot, we cannot talk about something which brings it up. Oh. So from that viewpoint, uh, not only result depend on cause, but cause also depend on result. That does not mean cause come from result, no. But uh, result uh, generally there. So certain things become cause. So at that time, result not actualized. Right? But in the mind, you see, coming result. So keep that mind, then we call, we call this cause. So uh, because of that, then we can understand how the um, effect or the result that is brought about of its causes is um, designated by our concepts. Uh, so from, from that, then also you see the Gyusana Chevabuche. Devusana Ledche. The Gyu Devutjeve Chavache, Chaji Lesson Toa. So uh, the cause is where the doer, the creator, and then uh, we have the, uh, the result, which is actually what uh, the cause brings about. And then there is the action of the cause bringing about that result. Oh. So this, so chawa le te ne, any chawa di chiba boda, chawa di jukbe le es chene. Chawa le te ne shodo. And so um, the, when we talk about an agent which uh, does some action and also the place or the object on which the action is taking place, um, these are posited from the point of view of there being someone who, um, the, 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 there being an action 
which is done. Now, actor, action, the object of right. uh, Without object, no possibility of action. Without actor, uh, no possibility of action. Without action, no possibility to become actor. You see, there is no independent actor or action or object. Everything you see dependent. So that uh, these are the basis, uh, the concept of absence of independent existence. Uh, that we call shunyata. So shunyata does not mean nothingness. But things there, it is very nature is interdependent. So absence of independent existence. So that concept now uh, comes Kasori. Piki Tenjin Devon Jung Tatagisaki Tunde Tendil Shishabe Tone any ten takwa sag tendil. And so on the basis of understanding how things are dependent based on their causes and conditions, then we can actually um, explain the how things are designated with our labels and concepts and language. Since we can't find objectively, still it works. So there's no other choice, uh, mere designation. But mere designation does not mean So when we say things are merely designated, we are not saying that we can think about anything and it can happen. No. Uh, if I call this black, then uh, that sort of mind, Kasota, mind called Roshi Chaso. So if I think that this cup here on, on the table is black in color, then that perception is actually wrong. If you do some sort of Kasota yeah. defect, defect, then see black, then uh, the mind can now consider this is black cup. Actually, you see, the cup designated by mind. But, you see, uh, the mind which considers this black, uh, you see, Kasuta, called logic. So that perception itself is distorted, and that doesn't mean that the cup actually is black. Uh, so, the mind which consider uh, this is black cup, that if I ask another person or two person whether this is black or white, then two, 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 three persons say white, then I realize something wrong for my eye. So, so from that, you, I can confirm that um, the perception that I have of the cup being black is actually wrong. So, the cups does exist. Color, white, white colored sort of kasuda cup exists. No. If I consider black, is the, the so subject become wrong. No. Uh, this is still remain white. But then investigate what is cup. A color is the color is cup? No. Shape is the cup? No. The material. Is cup? No. So again, you see the color, shape, material of the cup. Right. Cup. No. So now where is the cup? <laughs> again, <laughs> we just merely, you see certain sort of, because of composition, right? No. Composition, and with certain color, certain shape, that we simply call cup. If you investigate, you can't find. <laughs> so, uh, here is the, the make sort of distinction, appearances and reality. Now, reality, we say absence of independent existence. Appearances, looks objectively exist. Uh, 
Now, what is the matter with that kind of sort of realization, that kind of understanding? If it's just a mere sort of the academic subject, then uh, not necessarily too much bother. <laughs> no. <laughs> now check when our mind, our emotion, when I look, you know, when I look at you, mm, uh, uh, one sort of normal level, I just used to see the person. Uh, then some sort of no, please don't cause of that, cause of that, don't don't cause of that. Uh, no. Uh, uh, but now, for example, you see, you show me some kind of negative face, then I got some sort of irritation. Then the appearances, objectively there, it become more stronger, stronger. Now, so then, eventually, you see the the the, 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 the apparent, so the independent apparent. Then, my mind now grasping is absolute. So the absolute negative. So the anger develop. Then the object appears negative. That also independent. So now, antidote, how to reduce that kind of wrong perception is understanding is it the object's reality. Reality uh, not independently exists. So much related with my own sort of subjective sort of attitude. So I think yesterday I mentioned the Kasa American, the Kasa. Aaron Beck. Aaron Beck. Yes. Aaron Beck. Uh, he a scientist. Now he mentioned when we develop anger, object appears as a, I, don't, I think yesterday I already mentioned, I think. Huh? So like that. So like that. So therefore, all the uh, destructive emotions is very much based on concept which consider things objectively, independently exist. Uh, so once we realize or understand independent existence not there, uh, things there, but much sort of involved your own perception. Right. perception. So that reduce the strong sort of feeling of goodness or bad or something like that. Now, I think, I think roughly speaking, when we develop anger, we need some individual. Otherwise, it's difficult to develop an anger. <laughs> I think sometimes uh, you see the uh, a city. Uh, so, so. Uh, Perhaps I think a nation, community, perhaps I think I angry this nation, perhaps. But ultimately, was appointed, appointed one individual. Uh, now compassion, not necessarily one independent or individual target. I think we, can sort of develop genuine sense of concern uh, for all sentient beings. Uh, start myself, do not want suffering. Therefore, all sentient, sentient beings who have same sort of experience, same desire, uh, then we can develop genuine sense of concern of their well-being. No need independent target. Anger. Can we develop anger towards entire sentient being? I think difficult. Uh, the prop normal person's mind, I don't think you see, can develop anger towards entire seven billion human being. I don't think. So there's differences. 
destructive emotion, need, independent target. Positive uh, emotion, no need, that independent target. Differences, ninja that is ready, dumber lord. Shiruk charimdo, you'll never drink a remedo. Oshta, jikta tarta, satisut ready, dirdua. Never drink nishin drinkage, nishin jilon drinkage. Chazanga shiru no moche, shiru no moche, shiru min tato. So, uh, with regard to the experiences like uh, love, compassion, um, these are um, state of mind which we consider uh, which be considered as like aspirations, and, um, and whereas they are not uh, like wisdom. And uh, on, on the contrary, what we have is also the. Uh, on the other hand, we also have certain aspects of intelligence. The jobs is just only what okay. The views, uh, like we have uh, also the views of ex- eternalism and uh, nihilistic views. So these are, in, in a Thank way, uh, they have a tinge of some intelligence in them, which actually means that they, they do some analysis into the nature of things, whereas love and compassion do not have that kind of aspect. Mm-hmm. And therefore, within the mark, the fourth uh, noble truth, um, we talk about the uh, skillful means or method part of the practice and uh, the wisdom part of the practice. No. So, tabgi shiruk tabjin she, shiruk tabu tawche. And so, uh, the um, the method part of the practices, um, and in fact, the method and the wisdom complement each other, supporting each other. <clears throat> so the concept of Patit Samupant is the key sort of the element uh, to understand reality. Uh, that uh, eventually become the most powerful antidote of destructive emotion. So that's the system. Now, the Kasajwati. So usually I sort of introduce Buddha Dharma, two uh, two sentences. Tap mare jabatang jabatsawa mevatang tao tenjung shetik. So usually I summarize the teaching of the Buddha into these two points, which are the ethical conduct or the practice of uh, non-violence or not harming others, and then the philosophical view of interdependent nature of things. Mm-hmm. So our practice of behavior, non-violence. Non-violence, uh, uh, that, that, that sort of uh, concept comes. Things are interdependent. So I do not want suffering. If I harm other, I will suffer. If I help other, bring some uh, pleasant or joyfulness on other, I will get benefit. So according to the theory of uh, law of causality, interdependency, through that way, you see, we develop the sort of uh, determination I will not harm other. I will not cheat other. I will not bully other. So, the behavior, you know, behavior way. No, behavior. conduct. Ka? No, behavior. No, uh, non-violence related with that sort of theory. So, that is a general sort of introduction about Buddha Dharma. Uh, perhaps, you see, I may as well mention the, uh, the Heart Sutra. Uh, I, I think since my Singaporean sort of friend here, so I would like to share with you the Chinese translation about Heart Sutra. Uh, so the, the, uh, the Japanese translation, also the Korean and Vietnamese, 
all is based on Chinese translation. Now, Chinese translation, the Pumung of Tata, Jang, Rashni Tongan of Tao, Saga, Jang, the Mido. So, in the Heart Sutra, um, in the Chinese translation, there is um, where the Heart Sutra says, if, and the, the five aggregates also are empty of inherent nature, that the word also is missing there. Mm-hmm. So, Kansaga Tame, Mado, the Kasor Kasasut. Pumung of Teda, or Pumung of Teda, Pumung of Teda, Rashi to one of Tao such. So the uh, Chinese translation mentions that the five aggregates are uh, empty of inherent nature. Mm. The original Sanskrit text, whereas in the original Sanskrit, there is this word, and also. Mm-hmm. So in Tibetan translation, also is mentioned that, also said you are. So now the meaning, uh, Firstly, the, uh, the, of the Heart Sutra belongs second Dharma wheel. So the first Dharma wheel is about Four Noble Truth. Uh, there, Buddha mentioned Kansagatami. Yes. So in the first turning of the wheel of the Dharma, the Buddha uh, has taught the selfness, uh, selflessness of persons. No, anathema theory. Another material, selflessness. No. So that hints the five aggregates, and these things are seems independent existence. Now, the second Dharma wheel, now he mentioned the five seconds also does not exist independently. Not only the self. But also the very basis of self also does not exist by independently. So in this way, we can actually make a connection between the first noble, uh, the teaching on the first noble truth, the first wheel of the Dharma and the second wheel of Dharma. Yes. So in the uh, first turning of the wheel, um, now the, 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 what it teaches explicitly is the uh, selflessness of persons, and uh, whereas the selflessness of phenomena is not taught there, but uh, in the second turning of the wheel of the Dharma, then uh, both the selflessnesses are taught, the selflessness of persons as well as uh, phenomena. So so therefore, uh, the, both the uh, selflessnesses are taught. Damini, no. Damini, both. Oh, both are taught. Do you remember that? Damini is selfless. So the uh, the second turning of the wheel. Two selflessness. Two selflessnesses. Mm-hmm. One self, one basis of the self, yes. like that. Why? That the long job so the person is that which experiences the different things. Um, for example, the experiencing the body and so Experi- forth. Experiencing, experiencing and also creator. The creator of karma and so forth. Uh, whereas the, uh, the uh, body and mind are which, uh, the things which are experienced by it. <clears throat> Now, within uh, the concept of the absence of independence, then, of course, you see a lot of sort of uh, uh, the different level of the meaning of absence of independence. Mm. So now, uh, as I, now yesterday I mentioned, the three, three levels. First, the city. Uh, try to minimize the grasping for this life and also the sensorial kasota experiences. The second level, now uh, the kasota, uh, niroda, uh, all the uh, kalesh, uh, negative emotion, 
a source of suffering, so we must eliminate that. So the complete elimination about these negative emotion, that is the permanent joyfulness, that is the moksha or nirvana. So that's the second, the second level, well, second category, second. second level. Then third level, not only yourself, but also entire sentient being who under because of the control of these uh, negative emotion or clash. So we must liberate uh, entire sentient being or entire sentient being or those sentient being who under because of the, under the uh, control of negative emotion, so we must liberate from that kind of sort of, sort of situation. That's the Bodhisattva practice. Taya, and the Dina, Kasachuti. Dodi Langarshi Vendala, Sai Tekta, Sangbe Tek, Tishin to Nyandu Texan, Tekwa. So in the Langar Avatara Sutra, there are mentions of, uh, there is mention of uh, different kinds of vehicles. Um, it talks about the vehicle of the gods, the vehicle of Brahman, and then vehicle of the Shravakas and so forth. Now, first vehicle of human being and gods, no. devas. Yes. So then within deva, the higher level of deva, there's Brahma. Uh, uh, then Shavaka, no, like that. Uh, so now, uh, so after we sort of know uh, the different religious sort of what's uh, practice, no. now it becomes clear. The first level is common, all major world religious traditions. All religion emphasis on practice of love, kindness, and about you see some uh, about anger, about the irritation because of the come, then practice of tolerance, practice of forgiveness. You see these are uh, see the because uh, of the creating causes to uh, get I uh, see the. Uh, good life within samsara. That's all. So I think all world major tradition, you see, in that in that that level, same. Yes. So all these major religi religious traditions of the world have the same or common uh, practice, which is uh, to say the common practice of the avoiding the ten non-virtuous actions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now the second. Uh, level, the vehicle of Brahman, right? Yes. Brahma, no. Brahmayana. Brahmayana. Oh. Brahmayana. Uh, here include practice of shamatha and vipassana. Here include practice of shamatha and vipassana. So now, they not only kasur, kasur, uh, eliminate the harmful actions, the harmful sort of uh, motivation, but also is the the mind which scattered uh, outside sort of the uh, sort of phenomena everywhere no. that withdraw and deep samadhi, and then vipassana. Now here you see the ombu sheve chesudani deyung ala cha dana any dungi yungi yutubishi chesanga. So, so when we practice vipassana or shama samadhi, um, what we are trying to do is try to withdraw the mind from uh, being um, called, uh, dispersed towards the um, sensual uh, pleasures, sensual objects, and because they, uh, they bring about suffering as the result. And uh, by withdrawing the mind from that or um, turning it away from the sensual pleasures um, but, and, and then focusing the mind on uh, single-pointedly, we try to uh, develop single-pointed concentration.
<clears throat> now, up to, up to that level, the concept of Atma sometimes very helpful. Atma, here. That's mainly here, isn't it? Where is Atma? Here. <laughs> one, one, my friend, uh, one Hindu meditator, see, he, he, he told me, see, the concentrate here. I think Atma. So then, single pointed sort of meditation. Then here, eventually, some heat is it comes here. Uh, I would like to seek the Dindushuya, the Karthana So uh, I would like to ask um, why do the Hindus put this uh, the Bindu on their Bindu, or what is it called, the color on their forehead? What is What's purpose? the reason? Third eye. Wisdom. Wisdom, eye. Wisdom eye. Wisdom eye. Oh, third eye. The chakra. No. No. Agni chakra which is where the guru resides. Agni. I think here. Agya. 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 Lama Nesat. Ka. Lama. Komni. Den Neva. So then when you con when you concentrate Atma where? What is Agya? Hmm? Atma there, but not necessarily a certain place. Huh? That's just indestructible. Right? No, indestructible. In indestructible. No. So, so permanent. So, is there any beginning, At Atma? Atma is pure consciousness. So, any beginning? No beginning, no end. Oh, Sangya, according to Sangya philosophy, Tashiri Kitivo. So, according to the Sankhya philosophy, there is mention of a person which is called the Purusha, 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 Purusha. A conscious, Purusha, Purusha. conscious element. The resender I met is one great learned Swami Kasade, Swamiji. Uh, Swamiji. You see, no beginning of Purusha. So, same. Buddhist also, you see, no beginning of self. Buddhist explanation, the self designated on the basis of continuation of mind. Mind, no beginning. Why? Mind must come from its own substantial causes. Substantial causes must be same nature. So matter never act as a substantial causes of mind or consciousness. The cooperative causes, the, such as eye organs or brain, substantial causes of mind, but never be, I mean, cooperative causes. But these physical things never be substantial. substantial causes. Substantial causes must be the same nature. That's the reason the mind, the first mind, this life, must come from previous continuity of mind. Otherwise, the particles, physical, never, put, never become mind. Similarly, mind, substantial causes of matters must be matter, not consciousness, or space. Or space also, you see, there are different levels of space. A space particle, like that. So, so that's the main reason. No beginning of self. Because no beginning of consciousness, a subtle level of consciousness, grosser level of consciousness, yes, there is a beginning. So the uh, Sangya philosopher, according to Sangya philosophy, also it's the same. I understand that then, you see, we concluded it's the same, uh, Purusha, no beginning. At the level of 
when we achieve moksha, the purusha cease or still remain. So, so when we reach moksha, within Buddhism, there are you see, two different theories, different views. You see, some like what's that? Vibhashek. When Mahapuri Nirvana achieve, then the mind ceases. So, according to that school of thought, the Buddha no longer no longer there now. After he achieved Mahapuri Nirvana, so here this sort of view. Nagarjuna, the Jupa Chujuba. According to uh, Master Nagarjuna's uh, 60 stanzas of reasoning, uh, he clearly sort of uh, argued that point. So, no sort of. Uh, uh, Mutik Chababa Kas, Chababa Kare. Mimam Sakas. Mimam Sakas. Oh, the, uh, the, according to that school of thought, the mind. And the clash, basically, you see, they're always mixed. So when clash completely eliminate, mind also stop. That's the Mudicha Baba. No. So according to the, uh, the Mimamsakas, this is what they believe. Oh. Mudicha Baba Sakas, Kya Baba. What is Sanskrit word? Suppose you are a Sanskrit scholar. <laughs> okay. I think according to Tibetan's sort of translation, there are major five non Buddhist school of thought. So, Sangya. Is the top most sophisticated sort of philosophy. Then, Mudi Charabha, Chababa, Rigitabakare, Vedantic, Vedantas. Then Charvaka, and Kasa, Rigitabuba, Kasa. Jane. Jane is. Jane, Jane. So, five, mainly five. So each a wonderful sort of explanation, wonderful sort of philosophical views explanation. Uh, among them, most sophisticated is the Kasachoti Sankhya, uh, Sankhya philosophy. And anyway, hmm, uh, I think uh, uh, my view, philosophy is actually I think those subjects which beyond our sort of direct perception and some explanation about that. So uh, it actually helping us to think, to reach our concept more deeper level. So philosophy is not just a mere mental exaggeration. No. Right. Mental imagination. Imagination, no. Maybe some philosopher, just imagination. Any <laughs> Then, uh, if it's mere uh, mental concoctions, what the philosophy tells, then you would have to face a lot of logical challenges. <laughs> so, genuine philosophy, based on logic, that these should be guidance, right? no. guidance Guide. about our practice. If it's a philosophical view and practice something separate, then what is the purpose of philosophy? <laughs> Particularly those times, you see, sincere practitioner, sincere spiritual practitioner, they explain, they write a lot of philosophical books. And modern scholars may not be like that. <laughs> Sometimes, in order to achieve some sort of some unique thing, then create a lot of sort of 
imaginations, right? Yes. <laughs> I don't think it's like Nagarjuna, Digna, Chandrakirti, Tamakirti. Uh, these, they have philosophical view. You see, try to, Kasun, try to make clear about the reality. Uh, and then raise all different sort of views, different sort of concept, and then debate. Even within the Buddhist view, a lot of debate like that. I think obviously, I think there's one series of debate between Buddhist, sort of Buddhist school, the Chitta Mantra school, and Madhimika. Not Madhimika. Madhimika, within Madhimika, there are also one, one part. So accept the Chitta Mantra sort of view. So it's a lot of debate. And anyway, that's a treasure, actually. I mean, the treasure. These are just uh, some things that I have, uh, wanted to share on the site. So now, the Lama Zongkabas book. The Kiu Chung, the Kiu Chung, the Kiu Chung, the Kiu so in the in this text by uh, Master Tsongkhapa, there is more detailed explanation of the practices pertaining to beings of small school. And uh, three, three, three levels. Three levels. Three levels. No more uh, clear explanation. More detail. Call the I, I think. have an extra uh, uh, text. The one which has the maroon cover is the Lama Sangapa text, this and the one, one which this is this the white this one this is the Atisha text. The, the so, call it, the call. so that you can. Uh, hmm? uh, we can just get some spare text from the back. Hmm? Hmm? Okay. Oh. oh, there, there, there. Oh. That? So with regard to the Lamrim tradition, these uh, stages of the path tradition, uh, there are two major lineages that have come from India. Um, these lineages are called the extensive lineage of the, ex uh, the extensive path and then the lineage of the profound view. Mm. So with regard to the first um, lineage, which is called the extensive lineage, um, this um, mainly uh, we, what we refer to is uh, by this is the practices which are called the method or the skillful means. And uh, here uh, there are various, uh, I mean, many different kinds of lineages or practices within it. Um, these, this, within this lineage, you don't have to uh, do any rigorous critical analysis into the nature of things as such, uh, but uh, you uh, focus mainly on the, uh, the, uh, the method part of the practice. Uh. And so, um, with regards to the... So, um, then there is also the mention uh, in Buddhist uh, tradition um, the, the, about the two truths, um, the conventional and ultimate truth, which, in, again, uh, there are many different interpretations according to the different philosophical schools. Mm. Umujuguenala, so 
So um, in the Madhyamaka Avatar by Master Chantrakirti, he mentions the two truths um, using the term um, the ultimate truth and also the um, obscured or um, the false truth. Um, now, with regard to this, um, when he refers, what is referred to by the term ultimate truth is uh, the truth which is actually found not just by our conceptual, uh, the, the perceptual and cognitions uh, directly in, in the beginning, but then uh, they have to. Be, it has to be found through analytical, um, uh, critical analysis into the nature of things. And uh, when we do this critical analysis into the things, uh, the nature of things, then we find the true uh, ultimate nature. That's the ultimate truth, and uh, whereas the um, the false truth or the uh, conventional truth is that which is not uh, found through this kind of critical uh, analysis into the nature of things, but uh, we accept things on a conventional level without doing this any critical analysis into them. Mm. And so um, when we um, accept things without going into this philosophical, rigorous kind of critical analysis into things, but accept them on a conventional term, um, then um, what, uh, uh, what we uh, get is the law of causality, how things are, uh, the causes and effects, the effects, and then we also can talk about good and bad, high and low and so forth. And then accordingly, uh, we can also go about with our practice, which are called the, uh, the method part of the practice uh, that, that had to do with uh, the uh, yes, aspirational aspect of your path. That's <laughs> Sub and then um, the uh, ultimate nature or ultimate truth is also known as the profound view. And so here the meaning of profundity is that um, this truth or the, the very nature of the things cannot be understood merely uh, based on the appearance of things. Um, but then, um, just as we have in the appearances, there are many different uh, varieties. Um, the, the, the profound nature or the profundity here, uh, which refers to the ultimate truth, does not have that kind of multiplicity uh, of appearances, but uh, it's the, uh, the ultimate nature or the essence or, or the ultimate nature of uh, how things are. And so this has to be found through our uh, critical analysis into the nature of things. And so when we get to the, this ultimate nature of things, ultimate truth, um, it, it's the same. Um, uh, even when we talk about the ultimate nature or the ultimate truth of the Buddha or sentient being, they are the same. And uh, therefore, um, whether we talk about pure or impure things or good and bad and Buddhas and sentient beings, uh, the, the ultimate truth of all these things is one. And therefore, we talk about the uh, the, the, the ultimate, in the ultimate uh, analysis or ultimate nature or the, um, the suchness or the reality of all these things, Buddha, sentient beings and good and bad, pure and impure things are of one taste. And so um, the, this ultimate nature has to be, uh, you have to come to the conclusion and insight into it through critical analysis into the nature of things. And therefore, uh, because this, this cannot be found merely through appearances, you know, based on our, uh, the appearances of things, this is co it's called the profound.
The rule of creating a direction, uh, So verse number eleven, I think the, the then the rules of creating uh, well the auspicious conditions for all the accidents of this and future lives. Mm-hmm. Uh, so guru or teacher is very, very important. Now, now here, obviously, the, the, in order to take sort of the uh, work, job, teacher's job, first you should have the, the qualification, uh, the quality which can tell student, can explain student. Uh, uh, so similarly here, the spiritual guru, spiritual teacher, should have the Kasoda quality. Now here, spiritual teacher, not only quality of knowledge, but also experience. Lama Tsongkhapa says, Seva Shu Song Yare, Rang Gyu Matu Es, Sheng Yu Gyu Ndutu Yugumare Es. Tidhi Yindu, Sheng Yu Ndutu Yugumare Te, Tomar Rang Gyu Duwa Chuk Gyasos. So Master Tsongkhapa makes it very clear in his uh, the uh, Lamrim t- uh, the uh, text on the Lamrim or stages of path enlightenment that uh, the, someone who has not actually tamed or subdued oneself cannot uh, subdue try to subdue others and therefore what you need is if uh, if some, the, the ones who wish to uh, t- uh, discipline others first first of all they must discipline themselves. Mm-hmm. So with regard to disciplining oneself and others, Master Tsongkhapa says, uh, it cannot be um, come about um, Called, um, through any kind of means that one may call as means to discipline or subdue oneself, but uh, um, the, the, one may claim to have some kind, uh, kind of uh, experience, of spiritual experiences, which we, one may uh, call as in, uh, realizations. I mean, this uh, merely claiming something, some experience to be realizations and using them and, uh, to subdue others will, is not the way you actually subdue others, but uh, the, the, uh, the way you actually subdue yourself and others is by following the general pa- pattern of the teaching of the Buddha. And so the general pattern of following the Buddha uh, Dharma in disciplining oneself means uh, that one has to follow the, uh, uh, or uh, or uh, cultivate the three trainings of morality, concentration, and uh, wisdom. Shila, Samadhi, Paranja. Without Paranja, uh, you cannot sort of explain, uh, without sort of the experience or some understanding, some experience about Paranja, it's difficult to show the right method to eliminate all these clash. So therefore, the Paranja is the key factor. Uh, in order to develop, in order to experience the Paranja, genuine Paranja, not just mere knowledge, uh, you need the concentration power, all your energy of mind, because gen- mobilize or generalize. That is a samatha, a samadhi. So the samadhi, the real method develop uh, of shamatha is mindfulness and shishinkasa, introspection. Uh, no, I can't pronounce that word. Mm. <laughs> so something you see, something like police is watching. Mm. Uh, so first, any object, object including your own mind 
or consciousness or ob- the object the uh, shunya or the absence of independent existence of mind or anything or object of certain chakras or object of certain sort of the the visions re no visions re no like oh, visions like that so mindfulness so holding uh, what you sort of what what you focus what, what, on focus on then de lo ne ba jong yong yo ma re lo di ga la pe tang se ji ga ga tang shi se wa ji tu mi de gong shi so it's not enough to be able to um stay on the focus um, but what you need also is very uh, clarity and vividness of the object mm. that the shishing sharache ge yong do me So for that, you have to use what is known as introspection or uh, vigilance in order to check whether um, your mind is staying on the object, you are losing mindfulness or not. The first step to practice or to increase the power of mindfulness and the vigilance, mm-hmm. these two things, the practice of shila, moral, morality. morality. Uh, when you are walking, or sitting or even sleeping or eating uh, all the moment every physical sort of action uh, is mindfulness now i'm doing this and whether this is something against the monk for example i my case is a buddhist bhikshu so whether this is against bhikshu's rule or not or uh, vigilance no. then uh the the also the mindfulness about you the what actually sort of cause of the moving you are doing like that so the practice of shila is the basis of building mindfulness and cause vigilance the vigilance with the help of these two things then shamatha experience then with the help of shamatha the vipassana paranjya Uh, so the guru uh, uh, the teacher the, uh, sh- first we should examine whether you see that particular person have this quality or not uh, the metriya buddha metriya buddha sattva you see mentioned 10 qualities uh ta lava sumche ね、ね。あ、死にどうしようにしよう。いや、だらは、そんじゃ、ロングチュ。ティニロトトラ、マケンデ、ゼレトニ、ジョーパンラ、テンサーゲ。だ、シュシュシェアリ。うん。そう、
um, we go to the next one, uh, verse number 12. Mm. Proper teacher is the cause of the cooperative cooperative causes. Mm. Now, substantial cause uh, within us should be within ourselves. This sort of untamed consciousness or mind through effort, tamed mind. So um, through your effort, what you can make is this uh, uh, transform this unruly mind that we have and become uh, uh, subdued. Mm-hmm. Uh, that the, uh, for that, this human body, human brain, is very essential because the transform our emotion, not by force, but by sort of kasota, awareness or willingness, voluntarily. So for that reason, you see, you should have, I mean, the person or person or the, or the, or the person, the person should have the sort of the intelligence to analyze, to think, uh, not immediate sort of the object or pleasure or happiness, but long run, long run sort of the interest, long term, long term interest. So that we human being have the ability, not other. So therefore, now then uh, the the therefore, therefore you see the substantial cause lot to that. becoming disciplined and uh, transforming, making transformation within ourselves, which means uh, having the experience or uh, cultivating and developing the experiences of renunciation, wanting to go out of this samsara, and also um, cultivating bodhicitta, this uh, altruistic intention to become um, enlightened for the benefit of others, and so forth. And um, they have to be developed through one's own effort. And so um, we have to use this. Uh, in order to be able to do this, we need intelligence. And we as humans, unlike any other um, sentient beings like animals and so forth, have this special intelligence that we can use to, um, gen- to, to, to cultivate and develop these experiences and tame ourselves. Mm. And therefore, uh, there is the, uh, men- the, the, the teaching here uh, refers to the uh, the importance of human life, the preciousness and the importance or how, uh, how difficult it is to find uh, this kind of human life. So we already have human, human body. So now we must sort of realize, oh, human body is really kasota, quite kasota, effective sort of the body. We have this marvelous intelligence. So we can analyze many things. So therefore, once we think these things, then we realize some kind of so the important importance of this body. Then gradually, uh, without properly use this sort of good potential, then you get the feeling, oh, I'm wasting time, like that. So time is money, money is time. <laughs> so similar now here, the. Time is wealth. Now, wealth means here, mental wealth. Oh. Every minute, every time, must be used to enrich our sort of understanding about the reality, so conventional level, ultimate level. Uh, and then, through that way, eventually, you will realize. I think we think, think, think more. Suddenly, a lot of reasons to uh, the benefit of altruism. Uh, the selfish, self-centered sort of attitude, if we think, analyze, they're really poison, very harmful. 
So therefore, you see this, so th- through that way, then we realize, no, I should not waste my time. Oh. Then furthermore, Nyeka Jigla Namgalotanda said. So it's on uh, in verse number 13 where it says, uh, This life of leisure is even more precious than the wish granting jewel. Then I ha- that I have found such an existence only this one's um, so hard to find, yet like a flash of lightning, it is easy to vanish. So it is quite uh, now here, you see, meditate or think more. The life, firstly, not permanent. Uh, Maximum, about 100 years. Uh, the, within 100 years, say, Pergan, the Lama, Kondarm, the Sumro, Tamji Nijuma, Tamji Chiguma, Nishute, Chetus, Chetus Session, Nishute, Machung Machung, Set, Machung Machung Session, Nishute, and the Lotus Shinswa. Miss Tomber Seven, Namtains. And so uh, Tibetan master uh, Gongdang uh, uh, Rinpoche has said... Um, I, think, I think three generations ago. I think two, three generations ago, I think. Uh, really great scholar. Also come from Amdo, my place. <laughs> One say, Amdo scholar, you see, he used to, used to say... Uh, One time he also told me, <laughs> so when I'm the scholar told me that uh, if um, someone were, is a Tibetan scholar, really learned one, then it, uh, he or she must be an, an Amdo. <laughs> <laughs> he half joke, he telling me like that. <laughs> oh. So that's so, a great scholar. Oh. He mentioned so, this is someone who asked him, you should write your own kasate, autobiography, right? No. Autobiography. Oh, autobiography. Then one, sort of one, one sentence he mentioned that. Huh? No. And so, um, the, the, so Gondan uh, Demidrami uh, said that 20 years have passed by without being able to practice the Dharma, and another 20 years passed by. <laughs> No. No. 20 years have passed by without, um, without being able to um, actually think about or reflect on uh, practicing the Dharma. And uh, t- another 20 years have passed by um, thinking or wishing that I, uh, that I could practice the Dharma. And still an, an, uh, an, another 20 years have passed by. Uh, then, but then, then, no. then another no. twenty years. That too much. That too much. Also, have passed by uh, re- uh, with regret that I've not been able to do any dharma practice. Simply complain. So that's uh, now too late. Too late. Too late. That that kind of sort of, sort of attitude. So conclusion: sixty years wasted. <laughs> now I already so. Almost now over Kasata seven years, right? no. huh? Kasata seven eight years. Uh, so the day of serious practice will not come from outside. We must make effort. Each day should be something meaningful. Uh, through that way, even death come tonight, no regret. Otherwise, it's just all our intelligence spent calculation about money and fame and power. Uh, then, at the end, the, all those sort of achievements uh, through your effort, right, through because of use this marvelous human intelligence and human ability used for money, fame, power. At the time of death, now you realize no sort of benefit from money, no benefit from fame, no benefit from power. At that time, uh, if you sort of, uh, if you have the concept of 
rebirth, then only sort of factor which help next life or next life is imprint of positive karma on our continuation of mind. So then you realize, oh, all those things which I really try to achieve now that no longer any use. Something which can be useful that I completely neglected. And then uh, at the time of death, you really feel sort of the because of too much karta. Restlessness. Restless. Like that. Uh, so it mentioned that. So then death also, you see, not very certain. Of course, we, uh, 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 I think I myself also, you see, according physicians, my medical checkup, they say, oh, very good sort of health. So, 99% I can say, I will not die tonight. <laughs> but 1%, not very sure if something all of a sudden something happened. Um, death might come tonight. No guarantee. So that's Namjim Yeme Sati. So that is about uh, the uh, uncertainty of when you're going to die. Oh. So, Chur Nge Namjim Yeba Meba. So what we can say is that uh, death is inevitable, but then the time of death is not certain. So at the time of death, what can help us is only, as I said earlier, the, uh, the positive imprints that we leave on our mind stream. So at the time of death, neither our wealth can help us, nor our friends and relatives can help us, and uh, nor the, uh, the this even this body can help us. So at that time, what goes from this life to the next is this, this uh, the mind, the mind stream that we have. Mm-hmm. Then next sentence now. Verse number 14. Oh. So then the verse number 15 says, There is no certainty that after death we may not be born in the lower realms. And so um, from this, uh, what this verse shows is the uh, reflecting on the suffering of lower realms of existence. So, um, if we reflect on how we live our life, usually, um, it is uh, actually summarized in... Uh, oh. in, in oh, <laughs> yes, Arya Dewa verses. mentioned. <coughs> Arya Dewa in 400 verses, he yeah. mentioned, uh, yeah. Yeah, 
and so Master uh, Arya Deva in his 400 verses says that most people are more or less indulging in things which are not uh, holy, um, virtuous, and therefore what we can, uh, what he has, uh, says is therefore um, they, uh, they would most probably go to the lower realms of existence. And so uh, he also, um, what he uh, says by this is that um, when we live our life, and um, what we think about when, uh, the, the thought processes that go, uh, go on in our mind is, we are, um, in other words, our mind is more or less preoccupied with um, destructive emotions, negative emotions, and what we do uh, uh, because of that is all um, sin, sinful actions. And usually I describe those positive emotions uh, need effort. Uh, destructive emotion spontaneously come. Isn't it? Hmm? Even animal, even child, children, child. Uh, then these positive emotion, we need a lot of effort, a lot of reasoning like that. And once you understand, still not sufficient, familiarize. So, so therefore, uh, without sort of seriously sort of judge or watch yourself or examine yourself. And for example, myself, oh, I'm monk, I'm Dalai Lama, I'm a holy person. <laughs> I always carry teaching like that. So I feel I am something really, I create a lot of virtues. But then very, uh, you really, uh, the touch on earth, then examine our 24 hours. What kind of my motivation coming uh, and my sort of action? Then sometimes you really feel shame. Oh, I promise all this practice, Buddhist practice, Shunyata practice, uh, Deity Yoga practice, but most, but often I carry these uh, shawl. No. 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 I just do it on the side, like a side practice. No. The main. So really, uh, myself compare on small insect. I think that insect quite honest, truthful. I study these things. Some knowledge there. Also, you see the quite because of the conviction, quite strong conviction about these sort of things. Yet, negligence. Isn't it? So, uh, if you think properly, examine yourself. Uh, we always examine other people. But first, examine yourself. <laughs> it's most important, isn't it? At the real sort of danger at the time of death, nobody help except yourself. So you must prepare when that situation, that time comes. You must have full confidence. Whole my life, rest of my life, rest of sort of the later part of my life, I sincerely sort of follow, uh, as a Buddhist, sincerely follow Buddhist sort of guidance, uh, Buddhist teaching. Then I feel, at that time, feel full confidence. Chava rup chiva la Ding Mr. Tamang Mingyus. So uh, there is a saying by the Gadamba masters that uh, the best of the practitioners actually are very willing to die uh, happy when that comes. And uh, the, the because at then you see the, that person, that practitioner, have hundred percent sort of sure next good life. So old body, uh, some problem eyes here, 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 here. Then or oh, happy now. Next year, I will take new, young, because of the fresh body. <laughs> so, Chavarrup, And therefore, the best practitioners are happy 
when death comes. And then the intermediate uh, level, uh, the practitioners who are of intermediate level, they are not so um, unhappy with uh, uh, when death comes. And uh, then uh, the, the uh, least kind of practitioners or the lowest um, kind of practitioners, they do, do not regret hmm? at the time of death. Like that. So, the chair so the next uh, line in verse number four, uh, 15 says the protection from such terror lies in the three jewels. So this shows the practice of taking refuge in the three jewels. Buddha Dharma Sangha. Buddha Dharma Sangha. Now real protector is Dharma. Dharma? Uh, here, I think two two categories. One, lungi uh, and so uh, knowledge, and then second, knowledge translate into action. Uh, so these two things are real protector of you, because of, the, of of yourself. Now, but the teacher cannot protect you. Uh, then Sangha, example, Vedas, Vipitas. Vedas. The Sangha are, are those whom we look up at as examples on the, for us to practice the Dharma. Then the Ledger Sangha. Yes. And then next comes the, the, uh, the uh, reflecting on the law of causality, karma. That's the reason uh-huh. And then uh, next, uh, what is, uh, the text teaches is the, uh, the kind of uh, human or a higher rebirth um, in, in which which is qualified by these eight different uh, characteristic features and uh, the, the uh, benefit of uh, having such a uh, form of life and the causes which leads to that kind of life. Uh, so, uh, so these so these are um, things which are common to all the uh, major religious traditions, and we can uh, subsume them under the category of the teachings pertaining to uh, the beings with uh, small scope. Mm-hmm. Then, now this is completed about the, because of the further explanation about the first level of practice. No. So, uh, with this, uh, we have covered the point which is uh, in uh, Master Adisha's text, uh, referred in uh, verse number three that we covered yesterday. Mm-hmm. And next is the teachings pertaining to beings with intermi- of intermediate scope, uh, which is referred by verse number, I think, four. In, uh, so, now Master here, I think, differ Buddhism and non Buddhism. Uh, now, Buddhist, here you see the, uh, it becomes very important the Kasachi uh, uh, three, three principles Shila, Samadhi, Panja. Now, Panja, which understand Anatma, Dharma, selflessness. Uh, because, you know, the ultimate root of all the cause of the clash, right? all clash. clash, no. clashes, no. is ignorance. Ignorance, there are two types. Mishiba Sangh Mongba Ta, Chinjilog Mongba Nietzsche. Chinjilog Mongba Laya, Tekonan Yila, Mongba Chinjilog Mongba Chikta, Pare, Kasajur, Yundel Mongba, Mongba Chikta, Tekonan Yila Mongba Nietzsche. 
so within um, with regard to ignorance, there, is, uh, there are two levels, first of all. Uh, mere ignorance, not knowing something. Or, and then the second is uh, the distorted um, understanding or distorted views. And within this second, um, the, the later one, then there is also this the distorted view about law of causality and also distorted view about the final nature of things. Mm-hmm. Now, four noble truth comes here. Tuk jen yimi so na mabe na tapa tu ni chishin mi jishing si. Kun ju khoye ju kri ma sam na khoye sa wa ju ju mi si be si li ngye ju kyo shi te ma tang kwa kang ge ching pa shi pa chik. And so, um, the verse number 19 and 20. Um, so it says, if we do not strive in contemplating the defects of the truth of suffering, the genuine uh, genuine aspiration for liberation does not arise in us. If we do not contemplate the causal uh, process of the origin of suffering, we will fail to understand how to cut the root of cyclic existence. So it's vital to seek true renunciation of disenchantment with existence and to recognize which, uh, which factors chain us in the cycle of existence. Yeah. That day, Jurim did the Diri. Pass ship to Chain to Dandriana Juni said. Namjung answer, Zulagan to the Gondralia, Civil Colo Changava says, Chigua. Did you then the Rangi Ganandua? Any? And do a doza, Yondevik, Gunabarba, Maria, Gunabarba. Love you, Devi, Gunabarba. Gunabarbe, do a doza, a sugar day, Civil Colo Changava said, Tisia Sundua. So, uh, with regard to what is referred uh, in line 3 on, of verse 19, uh, where it says, if we do not contemplate the causal process of the origin of suffering. So, the, regarding this causal process of the origin of suffering, uh, when we uh, uh, go into this in more detail, um, the, then what we have is the 12 links of dependent origination or Pavakrama, it's called. And usually, if you go to Tibetan temples and monasteries, you will find this, uh, the 12 links depicted on the, uh, the en- at the entrance of the temples and monasteries. Um, and uh, this uh, is what also uh, ma- the Indian master Gunaprabha um, has actually uh, mentioned in his uh, Vinaya Sutra that this... Uh, the depiction of the uh, 12 links of dependent origination must be uh, drawn on uh, the, uh, at the temple um, the entrances. Yeah. One time, uh, uh, when I visit, you see, uh, some monastery in Thailand, uh, in outside the main hall, the you see, picture of dead body, uh, image of of the body, which immediately after death, one then quite fresh, close eye like that. Then a few days, I think 24 hours, then a few days, say body, kasa, ta? becoming a bad, decomposing, ka. decomposing. Oh, decomposing, yes. So uh, it, it sort of, because of picture remain there, demonstrated. So that's the uh, part of practice of mindfulness about ugliness of this body uh, for a sort of antidote to reduce attachment of this body. Uh, so, yes. so this actually is about uh, the practice of the uh, mindfulness of body. Uh, which is one of the practices or uh, elements in the 37 uh, wings of enlightenment. That's common. The Buddhist Yana, the Theravada Yana, all these are same. Uh, so, 
Mm. So the twelve links. Mm. First, ignorance. Then, uh, karma. Then, consciousness. Uh, then finally, death, like that. Uh, so sometimes the people, the the because of because of the painters were painter, typically the because symbol the zukus bisto jago thagamish ta kaashe the norre. Sometimes when you uh, see this depiction of the twelve links of dependent origination, uh, some painters uh, actually make the painting more very elaborate or. Um, in such a way that they actually, you know, outside the, this, uh, the ring, which is held in uh, the, the ring, or the, the, uh, the, the two, oh. 12 links is actually uh, depicted as uh, almost, being in Almost, the, you see, uh, uh, appears like a deity no. and holding that traveling, a picture of a traveling. It's wrong. It is a symbol of impermanence. So one time I suggested uh, that should be because of skeleton service. Skeleton. Skeleton. That usually is the electricity, some sort of danger mark skeleton is usually is put. So that should be oh, that skeleton symbol of impermanence. So the, all the twelve links uh, within the nature of impermanence. Then that kind of sort of circle. Uh, ultimate root is in the center because uh, of peak and kare, snake rooster and bird tree to symbolize ignorance or that's all ignorance avidya 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 then chana growth oh then dasha I, I think first Rock. ignorance, then attachment. Uh, so ignorance uh, is the, uh, often you see develop or say the attachment. Attachment develop anger. So these three things. Uh, so poor pig symbolize ignorance. So not simbata papare lota. I was born in the uh, year of pig. <laughs> so, symbolize of ignorance. <laughs> so, you see, that you see, shows the so long ignorance there, then all these negative emotions and the sort of sufferings automatically come. If you really want to, because of, to stop this suffering and the, the causes of suffering, you must remove, you must tackle ignorance. So, anathema theory, or theory of shunyata, then comes. So in order to develop, as I already mentioned, in order to develop Really powerful, because uh, of the vipassana, which understand the shunya, uh, you need samadhi. In order to develop samadhi properly, you need shila, self-discipline. These things. So that's about the second level. Now third level about buddhisattva. That is the Verse number number 21, which says, generating the mind or uh, generating bodhicitta is the central axis. Um, Actually, it should be just just, uh, merely bodhicitta is the central axis of the supreme vehicle path. It's the foundation and the support of all expansive deeds. To all instances of two accumulations, it is like the elixir of gold. It's the treasury of merits, containing myriad collections of virtue. So recognizing these truths, the uh, heroic bodhisattvas uphold the precious supreme mind uh, as the heart of their practice. So infinite altruism with combination of wisdom, wisdom which understands shunyata, 
Shunyata is the ultimate reality. The old defilement does it develop the wrong view about that reality. So therefore, through practice or through meditation of Shunyata, the all the wrong views, Ratna. defilement, eventually uh, dissolve. In the ultimate in the, in the ultimate reality of consciousness, so these ultimately all suffering uh, comes from the ultimate reality of kasoda consciousness because of kaso completely kasoda completely because of the distorted. Kaso, or distorted sort of ignorance. So when all the negative sort of result from that ignorance completely dissolve. Also in the kaso in the very uh, nature of the mind. Uh, nature the of kaso uh, mind, right? No. Like that. So nirvana not outside, but nirvana is here. Once our mind completely liberated from wrong view and kaso uh, distorted sort of views. Then uh, that sort of uh, the that sort of that state of mind is nirvana. So that not only now thinking yourself, but you see entire sort of sentient being. That is the kasa. So some kuni trusheda tijini mecheda. Ryuchin Lujenko Tato Sanji Nimbuche. Maitreya Bodhisattva. Um, so Maitreya Bodhisattva says uh, in Mahayana Uttara Tantra that the uh, light of uh, the, uh, the enlightenment or the complete enlightenment of Buddha shine forth and uh, then um, towards sentient beings and then also that uh, the, with regards to the emptiness or the suchness of the mind, uh, there is no difference between the emptiness uh, of the mind of uh, 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 emptiness of the mind of sentient beings and Buddhas. Uh, and, because, no, and because they have this. Uh, All sentient beings have Buddha nature, no. pureness of consciousness. Uh, therefore, the old sentient beings have seed of Buddha, Buddhahood. So, Buddha nature origin there. So once we realize that nature, uh, and and what do you want? No, and actually, uh, this Buddha nature becomes manifest in us. Oh, then that's Buddha. Uh, so, the all the defilement or destructive emotion based on ignorance. So any ignorance always varies. Uh, opposition always there. Awareness is the opposition of ignorance. So the awareness here have full reason. So very much based on valid reason. Ignorance, no valid sort of foundation. Therefore, ignorance can remove. Then secondly, the very nature of mind is pure. So ignorance is always remain derungsudo. Derung. Ignorance can always be separated from the mind. That ruan, no. ruan. Can be. Can be. Oh. No. So that's the reason, you see, our destination from the Buddhist viewpoint, and particularly from the Buddhist Adhoyana viewpoint, our destination is Buddhahood. Uh, so uh, through, through these reasons, you see, we can develop some kind of conviction. Today, Buddha Shakyamuni uh, is our teacher, is Buddha, we ordinary sentient being. But we have the potential. Therefore, realize that potential, make effort, what Buddha Shakyamuni done. So we follow similar way, then eventually we also the same level of Buddha Shakyamuni. <laughs> then no longer prostration towards Buddha Shakyamuni because same level. <laughs> Perhaps I think this kind of sort of the 
concept gives us some kind of enthusiasm, isn't it? Uh, I think for me, of course, I respect all sort of the, the, the old teachings, yeah, theistic teachings, God, very good, these things, as I mentioned this, uh, today, as well as yesterday. But, you see, that sometimes you see, give God always there, we simply here. Ah, the Buddhist Adhoyana tells, we also eventually become God, become Buddha. So as I mentioned, this, I, this, this morning, I think this morning, the other, another group, I mentioned some, my Christian friend, one Christian Catholic monk, really a wonderful person. Now, he recently in Sanat, you see, he, uh, he gave talk. So he uh, seems to see mixed with some of the Buddhist sort of idea. Eventually, we also become God. <laughs> I think new Christian philosophy. <laughs> I think it is, it is quite okay. I think historically, I think when Jesus Christ is, appears in, uh, in Jerusalem area, right there, See, people already have concept the because of light come from east, that kind of isn't it? Oh. Some some sort of learned person, three person, learned three person from east. So already have some sort some sort of the because of the concept of uh, East uh, no. uh, East have some sort of uh, wisdom there. So naturally, you see the religion. The first one, like for example, in India, uh, Sangya. Then later, Buddhism came. So Buddhism took a lot of idea from existing sort of what's the non-Buddhist traditions, and then sh- practice of Shila, Samadhi, Vip, the Vipassana. These all same. Uh, of course, Vipassana, the Atma and Anatma and Shunya, and these things are differences. Otherwise, it's the same. So. Those religions, major religions, come later. I think some influence, you know, Ten Commandment, or all these three sort of Trinity, these, I think some sort of that connection, right? I think some influence, maybe. And anyway, so then after that, the, the Simji, so the uh, altruism in, is the motivation. Then six parameters is action. You see, once we develop infinite altruism, combination with wisdom, we see the target or final uh, destination. Then develop strong desire to achieve that in order to serve entire sentient being. Then actual implementation is six parameter. Because of Jimba, Sudim, Sava, Zundu, something, Shirab. So the actual ex- um, practice uh, comes to the six uh, perfections of uh, perfection of giving, morality, uh, effort, and then concentration, patience, and wisdom. Uh, so now about uh, also altruism, now the Atisha's, oh. Atisha's text, the other one, the other one. Rangyu Tokwe Dungeji, Rangyu Tokwe Dungeji, Shen, Kaza, Kanshi Shenji Dungeji, Yanda, several Kunyan, the Jutin Choi, no, Se, Simji Kwat Se. So, um, in Odisha's text, we are on verse number five, which says, those who, through their personal suffering, true, truly want to end completely all the suffering of others are persons of supreme capacity. So mm-hmm. this shows the, uh, the practice pertaining to the beings with uh, great scope or capacity. Tenema in Dinda, Simji Sungyat, Simji Sunya Choga. Um 
then we'll uh, next jump to the uh, verse which uh, touches on uh, taking the word or uh, generating bodhicitta. This all about bodhicitta. Then, Juksim Tanyu, Toba Matova, Yanda member, Pawan, Juman Satin Kotkasa. This is something. Shologa to Nima Pajir, Shologa, do you guess much in such a da? Yes. Jugum Lant, Jugum Lant. Verse number 19 uh, says, uh, Without the vow of engaged intention, perfect and aspiration will not grow. Make effort definitely to take it, since you want the wish for enlightenment to grow. Mm. So this is about taking bodhisattva vows. Oh, the Taji the members in Kyakchas. So before that, we have the uh, cultivation or developing the bodhicitta. That the name ma, Changju Sambe Tamba Sungya Di, Di Bodhu Do. Divodo Beber Chele, Tok Shanju, Son, Yonsu Sopor, Durus. Son of Yishi Ranshin said Divodo. Son of Yishi Ranshin. Son, Yonsu Sopor, Dunis Sanja Tamjada, Munshi gave a little shit, said that she never met. So from verse number 19 down to verse uh, 34, um, this is about the uh, taking bodhisattva vows. Mm. So now these two, they uh, cultivate the because of the altruism, or uh, uh, try to develop determination, uh, the desire to achieve Buddhahood in order to serve infinite sentient being, uh, that one, and then uh, take uh, actual Buddhisattva vow. Uh, so now here, uh, tomorrow, uh, before what is it, the, initi- what is it, the blessing of the what is it, Medicine Buddha. Medicine Buddha. Uh, a part of that is usually is you have to what is it, uh, take, uh, uh, generate body. Uh, and take bodhisattva vow. So bodhisattva vow, the some training of bodhicitta mind. So I will explain tomorrow. So I think here you see the multi-religious believer. Uh, so tomorrow, uh, the, uh, the uh, development, to, to develop the because of enthusiasm or determination about altruism, that I think everybody you see, can, can take. Uh, differences, you see, visualize, instead of Buddha, uh, visualize Jesus Christ uh, or Muhammad. Uh, and then try to develop sort of single pointed sort of determination. Now on, I will, I will never indulge in no. harmful actions to others. I will dedicate my body, speech, and mind, dedicate the well-being of others. So that everybody can take. And even non-believer, this is the rest of your life. Now dedicate your life, benefit of others. So not necessarily give up your body. <laughs> Mentally trained that way, <laughs> so quite useful. <laughs> In a practical way, take maximum care yourself, eating, sleeping like that. Mentally dedicate for others. <laughs> A little hypocrisy, isn't it? <laughs> I think I will explain tomorrow. Yeah. Now, about to time come? Or still some, some time? No, I think it's time. <laughs> hmm? It's time for a break. Oh. So, so then some explanation about shamatha, 
and vipassana, then uh, the, also the development of bodhicitta that I will as I will explain tomorrow. Okay. Now today, uh, this morning I met some uh, Turkey. What's it? Uh, so, 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 someone, you see, they told me already here in Delhi, some because of there are troops. Yes, a dance dancer. troop. Yes, who dancer do, troop. Uh, the dance of the dervishes. Um, so you see, they want uh, to to bring you see their sort of group. So then, uh, okay. Although you see, the, uh, my program already full, but uh, half an hour can also reduce, uh, and they they can perform. So I agree. So, so now, uh, now today is my lecture now end. Thank you. Ji, dear brother, you that thing is that you need ten days, six hours, ten, and ten days, ten days, ten days. So, on the basis of understanding how things are dependent based on their causes and conditions, then we can actually um, explain the, how things are designated with our labels and concepts and language. Since we can't find objectively, still it works. So there's no other choice, uh, mere designation. But mere designation does not mean so when we say things are merely designated, we are not saying that we can think about anything and it can happen. No. Uh, if I call this black, then uh, that sort of mind, kasota, mind called loshi chaso. So if I think that this cup here on, on the table is black in color, then that perception is actually wrong. If you do some sort of, because yeah. of the defect, defect, then see black. Then the, the mind can now consider this is black cup. Actually, you see the cup designated by mind. But you see, uh, the mind which consider this black, uh, you see, kasota, called logic. So that perception itself is distorted, and that doesn't mean that the cup actually is black. Uh, so the mind which consider uh, this is black cup, that if I ask another person or two person, but it is black or white, then two, two, two three persons say white, then I realize something wrong for my eye. So, nice. so from that, you, uh, I can confirm that um, the perception that I have of the cup being black is actually wrong. So, the cups does exist. Color, white, white colored sort of the cup exists. No. If I consider black, is the, the so subject become wrong? No. Uh, this is still remain white. But then investigate what is cup? A color is the color is cup? No. Shape is the cup? No. The material is cup? No. So again, you see the color, shape, material of the cup. Right. Cup. No. So now where is the cup? Again, <laughs> we just merely, you see, certain sort of, because of composition, right? No. Composition, at which certain color, certain shape, that we simply call cup. If you investigate, you can't find. <laughs> so, uh, here is the, the make sort of distinction, appearances and reality. Now, reality, we say, absence of independent existence. Appearances, looks, objectively exist. Uh, 
Now, what is the matter with that kind of sort of realization, that kind of understanding? If just a mere sort of the academic subject, then uh, not necessarily too much bother. Right? No. <laughs> now check when our mind, our emotion, when I look, you know, when I look at you. Mm. Uh, uh, one sort of normal level, I just used to see the person. Uh, then some sort of no, please don't because of that. Because of that, don't don't because of that. Uh, no. Uh, uh, but now, for example, you see, you show me some kind of negative face, then I got some sort of irritation, then. The appearances, objectively there, it become more stronger, stronger. Uh, so then, eventually, you see the the the, 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 the apparent, so the independent appearance. Then, my mind now grasping is absolute. So the absolute negative. So the anger develop, then the object appears negative, that also independent. So now antidote, how to reduce that kind of wrong perception is understanding is it the object's reality. Reality uh, not independently exists. So much related with my own sort of subjective sort of attitude. So I think yesterday I mentioned the Kasa American, the Kasa Kasa Yamint, some question at Kasa. Kondo said, Aaron Beck. Aaron Beck. Aaron Beck. Yes. Aaron Beck. Uh, he a scientist. Now he mentioned when we develop anger, object appears as a, I, don't, I think yesterday I already mentioned, I think. Huh? So like that, so like that. So therefore, all the uh, destructive emotion is very much based on concept which consider things objectively, independently exist. Uh, so once we realize or understand Independent existence, not there. Uh, things there, but much sort of involved your own perception. Right. perception. So that reduce the strong sort of feeling of goodness or bad or something like that. Now, I think, I think roughly speaking, when we develop anger, we need some individual. Otherwise, it's difficult to develop an anger. <laughs> I think sometimes, uh, the day, the London, the London, the London, the London, the London, So, does everybody have uh, both the text, Lamp for the Path of Enlightenment by the Adisha, and the Song of Spiritual Experience by Lama Tonkapa? Both. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So the, regarding the points um, which are not touched in one text, uh, they are uh, clearer in the other one. Hmm. <coughs> Now, hmm. uh, I think everybody knows the basic Buddhist teaching or basic sort of idea of Buddhism is Four Noble Truth. Uh, the Four Noble Truth, as you already know, the suffering and it is causeless. Uh, then, a permanent joyfulness or 
actually the sense of suffering uh, creates a lot of sort of unhappiness or unpleasant. So once, so therefore, the permanent happiness is completely eliminate the sources or causes of suffering. That is the permanent sort of what's the joyfulness. Uh, that's third noble truth. Uh, then uh, the method or source to achieve that, the, the fourth noble truth, path. So that's the, uh, the according the Buddhist, uh, or not only Buddhist, but also uh, the, those uh, according non-theistic religion, cause and effect, law of causality. So that was all right. Didn't you share that? No. So um, there is this um, teaching on the, uh, how causes and conditions bring about their effects, mm -hmm. the law of causality. Things happen. Uh, those are things which is something permanent, then not depend on causes. But those things which momentarily changing, then must be causes. Uh, so these things which momentarily changing, you see, you see, without cause, it never happened. So there must be cause. If the cause is something permanent, that also impossible. The permanent cause produce impermanent sort of result. Uh, so the, any result, um, the, I mean, causes of any result must be same nature. So since result momentarily changing, I mean changing, changeable, changeable, changeable. or changing, so cause also must be same nature. So the dukkha and kasa, kunjung said kasa, rejake kasa, samudaya, samudaya, and the niroda, and mark, ka, bath, kasa, what mean? Mark, mark. Uh, so this is based on the concept of uh, law of causality. Uh, then here you see uh, Buddhism, you see the one of the terminology, right? term we call patit samupat, uh, dependent and arising, patit samupat. Although Jainism and also one part of Sangya you see, the, I think the Kasota Tenji Denjun said, it's a Kalamasochi. So, Redi Denjun Chazanji on to go about Karasona, they do long job of Ta, Taka Chibushi. So, although Jainism uh, does accept uh, to a certain extent, uh, in, in, in reality, they do uh, posit the Interdependent uh, causation, or uh, some extent, I think, some uh, extent, to some extent, no? this is non, uh, non theistic religion. Also, you see, essentially, you see, agree the law of causality or Buddhism, but, but, you see, the problem is, these two, non theistic religion also accept, the atma, self, independent, absolute, unchanging self. So therefore, the, the Buddhism, the things, uh, phenomena which momentarily changing, also is due to, uh, I mean, it, it also, because the very nature is inter interdependence. Uh, dependent on its own causes. Then the self, uh, who create karma, and also who experience karma's result. That self also, you see, uh, momentarily changing, not permanent. Uh, so therefore, long jaja chala, long jaba bo, nigga chane, ta, go, den in jo in jane, and patit samu banda sal chala. So therefore, um, what is experienced, the objects and, uh, and who experiences um, them, both because both are 
independently arisen. Well, <clears throat> So the four, teaching of Four Noble Truth uh, also uh, I mean, based on the Buddhist theory of interdependency. The interdependency uh, uh, effect entirely depend on its own causes. And then that, if we think more deeper way, cause also depend on result. Uh, so our cause is defined as that which helps to bring up an effect and the effect or the result is that which is brought about by the cause. And therefore, if there is not, uh, nothing which is actually brought about, then they cannot, we cannot talk about something which brings it up. Oh. So from that viewpoint, uh, not only result depend on cause, but cause also depend on result. That does not mean cause come from result, no. But uh, result uh, generally there. So certain things become cause. So at that time, result not actualized, right? no. but in the mind, you see, coming result. So keep that mind, then we call, we call this cause. So because of that, then we can understand how the um, effect or the result that is brought about of its causes is um, designated by our concepts. Uh, so from th from that, then also you see the Gyusana Chavabuche. Devusana Ledche. The Gyu Devutjeve Chavache, Chaji Lesson Toa. So uh, the cause is where the doer, the creator, and then uh, we have the, uh, the result, which is actually what uh, the cause brings about. And then there is the action of the cause bringing about that result. Oh. So this, so chawal to ne, any chawal di chawal boda, chawal di jukbe le es chane. Chawal to ne shodo. And so um, the, when we talk about an agent which uh, does some action and also the place or the object on which the action is taking place, um, these are posited from the point of view of there being someone who, um, the, 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 there being an action which is done. Now, actor, action, the object. Uh, without object, no possibility of action. Without actor, uh, no possibility of action. Without action, no possibility to become actor. You see, there is no independent actor or action or object. Everything, you see, dependent. Mm. So that, uh, these are the basis, uh, the concept of absence of independent existence. Uh, that we call shunyata. So shunyata does not mean nothingness. But things there, it is very nature is interdependent. So absence of independent existence. So that concept now uh, comes. Sorry, 